coming to a close, wrapping itself up. It is time for me to look back, in retrospect, in 2020 hindsight, at all of my purchases of this year and tell you the ones that I have used the most. These, by default then, will be my best luxury purchases of the year because if I'm getting my money's worth, if I'm using these things over and over and over again, surely they're the best. These ones that that cost per wear is uh, right down. Okay, girl math, they're all free by now. One of the other main rules is that it has to be of purchase this year. It has to be of purchase this year. I have to have purchased it this year in order for it to qualify to be in the video. I've got 15 items. Okay, links will be below or in the shopping button on the screen. Are you ready? Guys, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I've out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head on there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Starting off with the Saint Laurent logo peacoat stop okay so i got this in february for my birthday as a treat to myself because why not treat yourself it's like a velvet peacoat style and then you have this huge crystal ysl adorning the back of it so you're just walking down the street oh right i love the shape of it because it's oversized that's very me and then you have this massive sparkling ysl also, did you know that the YSL logo is actually called the Cassandre, right? Like C-A-S-S-A-N-D-R-E, okay? And we are only but one letter away from being my name. I feel an innate connection. I feel like that wasn't a coincidence. It's just stunning. And like all of these, st they're like big crystals. They really sparkle. And whilst logo-y and shouty and in one's face, this is something that I hope to have forever, will be pulling out every time the weather is appropriate. The, the weight of it as well, it's heavier than a jacket, lighter than a coat. So it's that really, really great in between. And usually I am of the belief that whatever's happening to the back of me is none of my business. <laughs> I saw that somewhere and I stole it and it was absolutely brilliant. It's like, however I look from the back is, not, is none of my business. I only bend that rule for this jacket because it's absolutely phenomenal. It's a showstopper, it's a winner, it's just so me. Of course it's me. I was going to say I wish that they do more pieces that has this at the back, but I actually don't, because then, then I would be filing for bankruptcy. This technically was not a purchase because it was a gift. When I went to the Fendi Fall Winter 2023 show back in February, ugh, weren't those the days, this was the gift that they gave to all of the attendees. It is the Fendi Baguette phone pouch. This pouch exists generally, just not in this colour. And you know me, I would have said I'm never a red girl. I would have been like, wonderful gift, thank you so much, it will be on my shelf and I will rarely touch it. This has been such a great bag. First of all, I think because it's my only red bag, I really like her with black, with denim, things like this, but also this size and the shape is just so nifty. You've got a little top handle and off you go. And then inside, you know, she's called the phone pouch because she fits a phone, what, uh, card holder, keys, um, maybe mints, lip gloss, something like that. You also have the strap to make her crossbody. I have just gravitated and gravitated and gravitated towards this time and time again. And it's really surprised me. I really didn't expect to. It's great for travel. It's great for, you know, if you're packing something or whatever and you're like, I need a little versatile piece that can do a little easy crossbody throughout the day and a fabulous little handheld moment that's still appropriate for the evening for fancy little dinner a lovely little date night shall we say the next one is probably obvious you now i was sort of umming and ahhing for ages over like i wanted to get myself a milestone piece of jewelry for my 30th it took me to get to about september my birthday's in february before i actually ticked off that piece and i ended up going with the bulgari Spiegel Serpenti White Ceramic Double Twist Watch. There we go, longest name. I just think it's perfect for me. I love the style of it. I love that it's more of a jewelry watch than a normal watch. Slowly but surely I want to build up my watch collection, but I want each piece to be very different. It's timeless because it's 
you know, very sort of uh, bulgary style. They're not going to not do this style and all of that, okay? And there is a sort of trendiness aspect of it because I know that this watch style has been popular. But the double twist makes it a statement. At the same time, you know that like all of my, you know, 90% of my jewellery is white ceramic or white enamel and whatever. So it it's part of the story of my wrists. Everything is sort of rose gold or the white ceramic. The other thing about this watch that I find very interesting is that it sort of softened up over the over the months that I've had it. So initially I got the watch and it was quite tight, like I would have to sort of manipulate it around this bone because I was like, oh, it's a bit strangly. But it's like sort of adapted itself to my wrist over the over the few months, which is great. It's so comfortable. I love it. It it suits me, which is the most important thing. The other thing that I love about it is that I can wear it casually with like a casual top like this and it still shine. And then, but also it's appropriate for a fancier dinner thing. Cotton Citizens London Pant. I am obsessed. This one I think I bought last year. So this one is technically, um, I've broken the rules of the game. But this one is my addition from this year. When I tell you, what sort of mix is this? Because it's so beautifully soft to the touch. There is a stretch to it. I love the fact that they work casually. You can throw on a heel. They're interesting because of the way that they're dyed. And they are incredibly comfortable. If you are going to go for these, I would go two sizes down. I'm a 25 in these and I'm normally like in a pair of jeans with stretch, a 27. What more do you want other than like comfy, cool looking trousers than these? Shout out to Cotton Citizen. I'm a big fan of the brand. I think that they're great. I think they need more shout and more people need to know about them. And the London pant is 100% worth it. We've had some highs and lows with these shoes. I will go through them all. Earlier on in this year, one of the best collaborations was Mulberry and Axel Arigato. And they came up with this style okay so it's like a chunky sneaker style they did blue beige and a green trim the beige also had like tiny trees on it with the mulberry turn lock and all of that incredibly comfortable love the style wore these so 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 much to the point that and i have pictures the fabric had split and the stuffing was coming out so I took it to, I sent it off to the leather surgeons and they've replaced it with leather here, which is obviously much more hard wearing, blah, blah, blah. I love these sodding trainers. I think they're so, so good. And just everything about them, like the amount of blue is just the right amount of color. The turn lock looks so chic, it, you know, and this isn't the first brand that's done the turn lock. Hermes, uh, Buscemi, Buscemi, whatever that brand is, that is it even RIP, is it still with us, I don't know. Just the proportions of everything and the comfort level, 10 out of 10. I'm extremely passionate about them, I think that they're sodding brilliant and they did a fantastic job and they need to do round two of that collaboration. If they need anybody to vouch for it, get me in, get me in the room with the team. I will be like, listen, X, Y, and Z is why you need to do this. You sold out. You sold out the collection. What more do you need to know? Give us round two. Give us these shoes again. Thank you very much. Goodbye. And also maybe do the back of it in leather so that a similar instance doesn't happen to someone else, you know? In a sick and twisted move from the universe, a Chanel classic flap came along that was absolutely perfect for me. And before this, you know, I wasn't the biggest Chanel classic flap fan. I was like, N not for me. I'm okay, especially with the pricing. The pricing of this one, in the grand scheme of Chanel pricing, was actually before a price increase when I bought it, wasn't the worst. 3,790, I think it was in pounds. Um, and then it went up to like 4.4, it was insane. But anyway, and oh my gosh, have I used this bag so, so much. I really, really love it. I mean, you can even tell how much, I don't baby my things, I use them. I'm not like slinging them in the mud and dragging them across the pavement, but I don't like to like worry myself too much because these things are to be used and I'm not going to sell them, right? You know me and how bad I am with letting go. So you can see how 
she's got scratches on the insides from being used and blah 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 and she is well and truly settled into the Thorpe family you know and the Thorpe wardrobe and it's just it's this is the mini flap and it's the perfect size for me like I love the patentness of it it's like it's juicy it's like it's that and I love it okay I do double it up and do a shoulder bag a lot okay cute She's giving Little Mermaid. You know, I am a Pisces. It does make sense. The next piece was from a brand that previously I was not really looking at. Okay, and then I saw this on the model, like on the mannequin, and I was like, who the hell is that by? It's phenomenal. I love this Marc Jacobs peplum fluted denim jacket, whatever you want to call it. I am beyond obsessed. The way that this jacket... <laughs> Everything is snatched. I love the fact that the arms as well balloon out a little bit. Uh, I love it with a skirt. I love it with jeans. I love it worn open with jeans. I have this in a size small. Since I've bought this, I've been grabbing, grabbing, grabbing. Okay, brilliant jacket. Shout out to Mark, killing it. The next item is also another piece of clothing. However, I have uh, wrapped it up to take out next summer, but I will include pictures of it. This is the Vivian Westwood Hebo top. I bought it in white, I bought it in black. It's such a brilliant t-shirt because you wear it just how you would any other white t-shirt during the warmer months. But because of the like little bit of asymmetry, the bit of draping that that causes, it's just so different and just gives such an interesting twist to an otherwise very normal look. Imagine this look with just a white t-shirt. It would it would also be nice. It wouldn't be as nice as it was with this t-shirt. Just that little, mm, a pair of heels. Now, my relationship with Amina Mwadi, we've had our ups and downs, okay. These are the camellia style, okay. So, glorious, glorious green. I don't need to tell you that, this glorious satin green. This is the highest heel height, I think this is the 100. They do do this in a smaller heel height, maybe even like two other heights, right? And then you have the sort of emerald cut crystal embellishment on the toe, slingback style, right? She also does a pump version of this. I love this. She's got a really like sharp little snout, which I really enjoy that I find them very comfortable. I love how easy they are because they can go with a lot. Uh, one thing I've discovered this year is that I don't have a lot of closed toe shoes. Boots, like, yes, but like closed toe, I'm talking like a pump heel. This peeking out under a pair of jeans, like with a skirt, with a dress, blah, blah, blah. I just, I really like these. I think that they're delicious. This one's also a little bit of a cheat because it was a gift, but I absolutely, love these so much okay these are a fabulous pair of Miu Miu sunglasses I don't know the like official term for them but they're the wrap around 90 style and this is in the color morph and then around the side you have the little Miu Miu logo oh my gosh I have been if ever I've been like I want a, sun a pair of sunglasses I don't want something crazily statementy but I want something cool this is where I go to they just give a little bit of that Y2K intrigue, but they're not taking up too much of the outfit. They're a really great compliment, but they also have something going on in themselves that I really enjoy. They are so lightweight. I really, really love these to the point that I'm like a little bit annoyed that I didn't think of them myself. <laughs> I'm like, why didn't, why didn't you already buy them? Okay, why did somebody have to gift you them and you then realize that you love them? Absolutely phenomenal. Thank you, Julia. This is the Ferragamo maxi skirt. This skirt is like my favorite, favorite go-to now. Very high-waisted. It's like a really nice thick crepe material and it's just a column, it just goes straight down. I've not had this hemmed because I like this with platforms a lot and I'm obsessed with it because you just change out the top to give a completely different look. If you want to make it like really Form formal you can do that with a white shirt if you want to make it like a little bit more casual you can add like the Vivian Westwood Hebo top and off you go I don't feel as though I need shapewear underneath it this is a consideration with some skirts it's like oh do I have to be there like sucking everything in every time and with that skirt I really don't I think it's because the the crepe is really thick and the way that it's like darted 
over the waist of it it you know it nips in and then it just drops and it is so elegant oh my gosh elegance and cassie and chic but i just love the different directions you can take this i'm really excited to wear this next summer with one of my little sparkly little crop tops and we do that with the skirt and i don't know knees taking me to dinner i've already you know decided next up is something i'm wearing these jennifer fisher puffy art earrings ever since i got them I have just been dying for an opportunity to keep dipping into them. So they are, this is costume jewellery, okay, these are the gold ones, she does silver and also rose gold I believe, and do you want to know what, they're not heavy, they're not like dragging my ears down, I think that they are so statementy, but the fact that they don't take up much when you look forward, but then from the side you really get the full impact and I like that it makes her a little bit more versatile than if you're doing something that's just like full-on statementy from every angle kind of thing so I really like that they're comfortable they're fun then we have a pair of jeans these are the de femme jeans I did not realize that I needed something like this which was like a dressy statementy fun pair of trousers in general doesn't need to be jeans for like something eventy or whatever i have dipped into these so much more than i thought i would i find them so comfortable because the denim is so thin right like it's like a, it's like wafer thin i will say i don't think that they're, they're the most well-made things i've come across like if you look on the inside you can literally see all of the stitching but I will say that I have worn and used them a lot and I really really like them and I had them they are initially meant to be low rise I had them basically tailored up so that they that they hit more high rise on me so to, I think that they're great but I do think that these have come with a warning label which is don't expect the world in terms of quality I do feel as though I have to include my collaboration with Shea Jewelry that has not left my wrist since it's been on there beautiful lavender ceramic bracelet with the yellow gold links it's so comfortable and fabulous and easy to wear and since since I launched the collaboration, it has not been off my wrist. This is in my top three of like one of my favorite clothing pieces I've ever, ever bought and will ever, ever buy. I'm obsessed with it. And this is the Alexandra Vauthier jacket. And this is phenomenal. The structure of this jacket is absolutely top tier. I love how huge the lapels are, I love how much it nips in the waist and then the shape of the this part, I don't even know, the bottom of the blazer just holds and so it gives this incredible look. That with the strong padded shoulders and with it being short sleeve, it just, it takes the look in a different direction. I'm truly like I'm obsessed with it. I think it is tremendous. I think it's glorious. It's just beautiful. And it makes me feel incredible wearing it. And that's really, when it comes to anything that you're buying, that is the true testament of how much of a good purchase it is, is if you put it on and you just feel amazing. And that is what this jacket does. I don't even think that they do it in the plain black anymore. I've seen it in a hound's tooth and in white. This is one of those pieces that I, I, I think I would buy another. Like I would buy a different color or something should it come up again and they really need to. Once again, whoops do I need to write a strongly worded letter to to make sure that they continue making this because what a phenomenal piece of tailoring. Anyway, there you go. Those are my most used luxury items of 2023. Let me know which one was your fave. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.